All right, Claire. Hello. Pre-driver's test, emotions, feelings. What do you, what do you got? How you how you feeling? I'm fighting anxiety. Are you so really? I, yeah, so I don't get nervous. But you were doing so good. I know, but I just still... I mean, you've only been in the ditch three times. I have never been in the ditch. <laughs> no? No. Oh, jeez. How are you going to parallel park that van? I don't have to parallel park. And she knows how to parallel park that van. Yeah. I showed her. her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually nervous for her. Huh? She's out there getting ready to go. How do you think she's doing? Perfect. She's awesome. She's awesome, but mm -hmm. she's very nervous. She's very nervous. And they all are, is what the gal said. They're all nervous, but she's going to do great. I believe in her. Mm -hmm. She's back. All right. Sticker. <laughs> Congratulations. Way to go, honey. All right, stuff to talk about. Congratulations. The car would not go backwards. I flipped out. I was like, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> He's like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm like, it won't go backwards. Oh my you, you had a meltdown? Well, I didn't have a meltdown. I was just like, I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> well, but, congratulations, Claire. I earned it. I earned it, she says. I earned it. So, driver, holy smokes. Do you have any idea the amount of freedom you're going to have now? Yes. I yeah. do oh, have an idea. Loads. Every time we need to get something for a recipe that we forgot, you're you're Johnny on the spot. And I can go to fun stuff and not have to. Eat. We don't have to drive her anymore. We don't anymore. The shackles are we don't off, have Mama. To take her to school. We can have real dates. Woohoo! <laughs> now that the goats are gone, we've got blah blah blah. We we've can, switched over. We've switched over. We have gotten our rolls of hay, our hay oh, bales. Oh, my. Somebody's upset Somebody's out there. Somebody's mad that the other cows are gone. Um, but we have about 8,000 pounds of hay to last our four bovine creatures and our two equine creatures through the winter. But that's not it, too. That's no. only 8,000 pounds out here. Out here. And then we've got another couple hundred pounds inside the barn in small square bales. Oh, I think we've got more like another 1,000 pounds. Okay. All right, big man. That's 50 pounds. 50? Yep. Holy cow. <laughs> Feeding the rabbits? Yep. Getting, making sure they have water? Whoa! Uh-oh. It sprung in a leak. Well, what I was gonna say is oh. even Ruthie has, even Ruthie Can has chores for This is why it was broken. What was why? It, this. Um, oh. up here. Okay, so now before the goats leave, we're gonna give them some new collars because the little girls have outgrown theirs and Zeus, his is, is pretty worn. So I've got some of this really inexpensive rope that's pretty sturdy. You two behave yourself. And I've got a couple of zip ties. So I'm gonna take this, I made a loop here, and I'm gonna zip tie this place, this one shut. Before I even go near the goat because I don't really wanna smell so stinky. So now I've got this one done and I will trim this off really close so that it's not sharp and hurting anybody. But then what I'll do is I'll go in there and put this around his neck, get it to where it's not too tight but not too loose where it'll come off of his head if, if he pulls, if they're trying to lead him around. And then I will just put another zip tie around here inexpensive collar and it work, works really well. This one that we've had on Zeus has been on there for over a year. Um, you need to burn the ends so they don't get frayed and all nasty, oops, nasty gooey ooey. So this one I need to trim a little bit, but yeah. Just burn the ends so they don't get all frayed and nasty. Okay, so I've already made my loop on the end. It's much easier to start this way and then just all you have to do is put it on one more loop around their neck. Um, all right, come here, baby. No, no, no. Huh? Come here, hold still. You're fine. You're not in any trouble. No, 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 hold still. Now, put this, nope. Put this through, nope. <laughs> Stay here. Where are you going? Come back here. 
All right, so you don't want it too tight. Like this one is getting a little snug. It's not tight. It's clearly got lots of slack. I'll hold her. But it, this one's getting old. It needs to come off. So I'm going to give this one some slack so that it doesn't quite come over her head, but she still has room to grow. Now for the bigger goats, I'll use uh, two zip ties on either side, but for the little ones, I just use one. Hey, quit shoving me. Jeez, Dottie. Now, mwah, hello. Now, I'll take my side cutters so that the goats don't chew on this plastic and I'll cut it as close to that spot as I can. And that's not sharp in any way. It won't cut, it won't cut their skin through their hair at all. And then she's done. And she's done, I'll cut this old one off. And we're done. And there's also a small little lead. everybody this is a great moment for us because we've got David and his wife who's over there satisfying a fussy little baby yes uh, for the and, goats and they gave us this baby in exchange they did not they did not <laughs> but we are so glad that you guys are, are taking these goats because we you know we feel really really good that this is the, the place and for them to be family. thank you yeah we're that's, excited too that's so, what we're hoping for. well we're tell the people because these guys don't have a YouTube channel and I was we open that up to everybody, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. But tell them about what you guys have in terms of your, your garden, and you do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so we uh, we have a we're kind of getting into homesteading, I guess. Uh, have been it's always been a passion for uh, my wife and I, and uh, we have about a 50 by 50 garden that we grow all kinds of random stuff. Uh, we've got bees. We do our own maple syrup in the spring. Um, We've got uh, chickens, both for layers and for meat birds. Um, our meat birds are probably about two weeks out from butchering, so awesome. that'll be fun, and we do a, uh, a lot of butchering. <laughs> yeah. Um, How many birds did you guys grow this year? We did 30 this year. Nice. Nice. So, um, and then we've got about 20 hens. Nice. So, so they are a family who is uh, becoming more and more self-reliant, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that these animals were being cared for, and I, I feel 100% oh, confident that oh, yeah. it's gonna be good. Oh yeah. It's of course, amazing. it could always be like, you know, National Lampoons, and then all of a sudden goats are flying out of the trailer on the way home. Yeah, that would be oh, a first. That, that's I think happen. we got it right, though. Yeah. yeah. I think you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, that's actually, yeah, so yeah. there we have it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. Big Family Homestead, you guys have an amazing day. So what are you guys doing? Um, okay. I guess that's one thing uh, that you can do to train your dairy cow. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, mule, yeah. <laughs> so she's nice and gentle. Come on. There you go.